Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the point material and point cloud from Array Ops. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great, let's get started. So right now, the point material is designed to be used with the point cloud from Array Ops, but we don't see anything. That's because point cloud from Array expects, you can guess, uh, an array of data. So let's go to random array 3x. This is going to give us XYZ coordinates. Great, so now we've got something on the screen. I'm going to click and drag with orbit controls. Uh, as you can see, we've, uh, we've got points. So let's click the point material up and just run through some of its parameters. So here we have point size, which changes the size of the points. And this is really uh, designed to be used with random size. So these two kind of work together. Random size can add like a bit of an organic touch to things. So as you can see, if we go further away or closer, the size doesn't seem to kind of like add up. So if we now enable scale by distance, if we zoom away, let me just make it a little bit bigger. If we now zoom away, it becomes smaller. And if we come closer, it becomes bigger. So it's kind of like a perspective thing. So that's another one. Here we have the color picker. It speaks for itself. We can use this to pick a color um, for the points. So now we're going to look at something really interesting. Point material has a texture input. So let's make a texture up. And let's go to my favorite picture, which you all know is the beach. I'm going to click this. And as you can now see, we have the texture of the beach here on all of the points. We can also click on the point material, click colorize texture, and we can add this color that we pick here to the texture there, which is kind of cool. And last but not least, and this is like a really handy thing, is the texture lookup. So if we click this now, as you can see, everything gets a different color. So basically what we're doing is we're grabbing a color by grabbing a random color from this texture, and then we're assigning it to one of these points. And one other thing that we've got here is round. So if we turn this off, everything becomes square which just can be really handy to get like a cool effect with stuff. So as you can see, we can go here, we can now put this on 300 and make more of them. We could go to the point material, change the opacity so that they start to blend through each other. So the point material and the point cloud from array up are two really cool ops, which allow you to just generate a lot of data there on the screen. And it's very fast and efficient. So I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.